the services of highly trained therapists and state-of-the-art equipment. And if you pre-register, you can secure a private room at no extra charge by mentioning this ad. Palm Garden makes no bones about it. They provide the best in orthopedic care. Call 854-6262. That's 854-6262. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. All right, 17 minutes after 9 o'clock. Beautiful looking Wednesday morning. If you're looking at the streaming video, you see a handsome man sitting in the in the, in the the hot seat here at W-O-C-A. He is Dennis McFadden, and uh, he is a... He has served us all as a U.S. Army captain, retired from that now, but thank you, sir, for your service, and it's an honor to get to meet you. Um, Dennis McFadden was deployed to the Persian Gulf War as part of Operation Desert Storm. He is or was a FEMA field operations graduate and instructor training graduate, commander for the Republican National Convention in Tampa in 2013, the vice chair for the governor's West Ocala Neighborhood Revitalization Council, and he is a candidate for the Marion County sheriff for the election that is coming up and my gosh this is a this is an interesting one because on the national scale it looks a mess and locally everybody is so well mannered and gosh i wish the national stage would look like the local stage when it comes to candidates uh dennis mcfadden what an honor to meet you thank you for coming in sir Thank you for the opportunity to speak today. How are you? Good, good. Do you, and you live in Ocala? Yes, sir, I do. Live but in Ocala. Uh, only went away when I went to the military and, and moved away for a short while, but this is my home and this is where I want to live you, out the rest of my life. You grew up. You, you have a, a, a perspective by living here of what the county needs as far as law enforcement. Yes, sir. Do, do sure. you want to express some of those thoughts? What, what kind of things do you think we should be addressing? What are the focal points of your campaign? Well, right now, the biggest issue, whether it's here locally or nationwide, is the uh, distrust, the lack of trust in the law enforcement community and in, in, in our community. And shame. it shouldn't be that way. I know. It shouldn't be that way. We shouldn't have um, killings of our law enforcement officers uh, because that's you can't get any worse than that. And unfortunately, it sets us back years as a community when we're trying to work together when tragic things like that happen. Violence overall is yeah, just yeah. rampant and we, we've got to do something about it. Yeah, any any ideas on what we can do? Maybe here in Marion County, uh, do you think we could be a role model for the rest of the nation? I believe we can and I think it starts with us doing exactly what we're doing here. We have to start having face-to-face interviews and conversations. Unfortunately, we do everything nowadays through social media, Twitter, and all that their stuff to Facebook, and you see so much hatred. Yeah. And it's hard for a person to have hate towards you when they're sitting right next to you. They can actually see your compassion. They can actually see that you're a human. That's a really good point. And, and, and I think that's what we need to get to. And, and once we start doing that more, and having this dialogue between law enforcement and all communities, I think it'll. We can be the example here in Marion County of how it should be. It it, uh, it seems hard to imagine like foot patrols, um, and that seems more like something the police would do more than the sheriff's office. But I think when you see a car going by with with the sheriff's logo on it, you know you don't really know that person. There's a car. You don't know the person in the car. How would you How would you implement the idea of the the community? connection with, that you just expressed. And it, it is hard being a sheriff deputy because we are in the unincorporated areas of Marion County. But what we try to tell the deputies and our employees is to roll your window down, even though you're going through a community. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You can slow down. You can slow down. Say hi. And then say hi. Just wave out the window. That's a good idea, window. yeah. See kids playing basketball. You can always stop. You see these viral videos going on all the time where a police officer or somebody is playing basketball with a kid. You know, we're not asking them to do that, but to stop and wave at them and speak to them and, and say hi uh, is another thing. But it goes both ways. Uh, our community have to embrace the law enforcement community and not let it get to what we've seen across the nation. We, we just got to embrace each other. Yeah, Robin just handed me the, uh, a picture of you when you were younger in uh, in your military <laughs> gear. Wow, yeah. what, a, what a striking young man you were. <laughs> Thank you. I was young. I'm <laughs> much younger. Than uh, you, me too, back in, the, back in those days. Right? You, you made it a point to uh, meet the people in the community. You did a walk. Yes, ma'am. I done a seven-day 
seven mile walk and what I done was I wanted to reach out to all communities because I think that's what we're missing in so many areas where you oh, just really? have a certain segment yeah. of people that are dealing with law enforcement sometimes on a negative light and then others only deal with law enforcement in a positive manner yeah. so what I wanted to do was reach out to all the communities to show them how I would embrace community involvement community policing so I walked in Reddick, Dunnell and uh, Lake where Silver Spring Shores, Donnell and Marion Oaks. I walked all over this county and met a wonder, a lot of wonderful good people, shook hands, and that's what I believe again we have to get back to that personal touch to show people that you really care. You know, you can sit behind a desk and talk about solving problems all day, but if you don't actually get out there and work for it, then you know, I, I think we need to stop voting based on um, popularity contest because this is not a popularity contest. This is a serious job that's being taken. Absolutely, here and we have to take I it seriously. I think it's considered the highest elected office in Marion County, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, so, how would you handle the, the 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 financial issues that we read about in the newspaper? Is there anything along those lines that you want to talk about? Yes. Uh, uh, what it is is we have to work with our county commissioners. Um, nobody wants to raise taxes. But unfortunately, we have to find some other way of bringing in or generating income into this county so that we can take care of our public safety officials and uh, the men and women at the sheriff's department, the fire department, law enforcement. We've got to take care of them. And the way you do that is, number one, we've all been saying it, not to bring back people and pay them high, enormous salaries. Uh, to do a job that others at the sheriff's office already can do. That's yeah, number one. Sure. And it, it was a big thing the last election, and it's a, currently a big a big deal as well because the, you've got some candidates who are thinking about leaving that door open to bring back these high-paying officials, and it's not right. The other thing is um, when people leave or retire, you know, we can take those positions that they leave in and, and get rid of these unneeded positions. There are some positions at the sheriff's office that's probably – that's not needed. We can mm -hmm. get rid of those positions and we can begin to hire more deputies. But when it's all said and done, you know, the 1% uh, tax uh, is going to help us, the referendum there. But we're going to have to get more money from the county commissioners. I mean, once we get in there and start looking at the budget and really do a forensic exam of it mm -hmm. to make sure everything, all the fat is cut, I still believe that we're probably going to fall short in some areas and we're going to have to need the help from the county commissioners in our community to, to make up those differences. If you're just tuning in, Dennis, Dennis McFadden is in the studio. He is running for the office of sheriff, the Marion County Sheriff, in uh, the upcoming elections. There's, there's a primary in August. Yes, it is. Uh, and you're running as a Democrat? Yes, I am. Okay. Sir. And so you're, your only opponent right now is, is Ed Dean? Yes, it is. I, I believe so. So the, the winner of the two of you then will face whoever the winner is on the Republican side, yes, right? Yes, sir. Um, so, so tell us... Um, what, was there any one thing maybe that you heard about or know about that happened in the sheriff's office that made you say, you know what, let me let me give, take a shot at this? Was there any one thing? I think it was the the fact that I, I saw the direction in which the agency was going prior to my retirement a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like the direction in which it was going, like as most of the candidates did. And what I wanted to do was get in involved in the race and actually become the next sheriff to make sure I bring some unity and peace back within the agency. There was a lot of intimidation and bullying and, and micromanaging going on and nobody wants to live under that uh, type of work environment. I think my job as a sheriff is to protect and serve, right. but that protect and serve goes farther than just from an external standpoint. It also goes internal. It is my job to protect and serve the men and women from an internal standpoint as well. And that uh, also includes morale. Yes. It, it, it includes the morale. You know, we talk about the safety of the men and women, making sure we provide them with the bulletproof vests, the cars, the, uh, the resources to provide them with survival on the street. But their mental state is also important. You know, the fact that they shouldn't have to go to work uh, living in fear and being mm -hmm. fearful of who they support in a campaign. I want all of that to stop. I, I truly believe that uh, America, there's a lot of men and women who's died for this country for you to have the right to vote and choose who you want to vote for and yeah. support. You, you said you retired a year ago. What did you retire from? I retired from the Marion County Sheriff's Office. Oh, okay. I, I, did, I didn't realize I didn't that. Okay. that. What happened was I, uh, I was in the military, and I went to the military, got out of the military, uh, 
uh, got hired on by the Florida Department of Corrections, worked there, and about a year into that stint with the Florida Department of Corrections, I was activated from a reserve standpoint from the 351st MP Company to serve over in the Persian Gulf. So I went over there, wow. came back, done another three years with the Florida Department of Corrections before I transferred over to the Marion County Sheriff's Office in 1994. Mm -hmm. and from 1994 to 2015, I worked for the Marion County Sheriff's Office where I worked my way up from a corrections officer to a deputy, uh, dare officer, sergeant, lieutenant, and then captain where I retired about a year ago. So I do have experience in the law enforcement community. My goodness. Yes, yes you certainly do. Yes. Uh, well, it's an honor to have you in the studio. I, I, I went to the website. you got a nice website here, and it looks like you've, you're part of the, the Rotary. Yes, sir. Um, obviously, the Army is, is uh, something that's near and dear to your heart. Um, the website I went to for the listeners is Dennis McFatton for Sheriff dot com. It's the number four. Yes. Uh, and Dennis spells his last name M C F A T T E N. Dennis McFatton for Sheriff dot com. And uh, when you go there, I, is there a way to communicate with you or to learn more from that? Yes, you can actually. Uh, you can email me. My phone number is on there. I take phone calls. I, I love. Do you want it. to give out a phone number? Yes, sir. We can give out a phone okay. number. All right. What this, is it? This area code three five two. Uh huh. Four five four. Okay. Nine six eight seven, and that phone number is on 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 the bottom of my palm cards. I'm I'm open to any conversation or questions that anybody may have. Yeah. You know, after the radio interview. Well, go ahead, Rob. Sorry. And the working with the youth of the community is very very important. Uh, do you plan on having more officers at the schools? I, I've done the D.A.R.E. program where we actually mm -hmm. had officers in the school, and I've done that for four years. Unfortunately, under this last administration, they removed that. I think when we can reach the kids at a young age and continue to have that rapport with them as they grow up through the middle school and high school is important. Now, one thing I did do, as a, even as a sheriff deputy, I coached football. I mm -hmm. coach baseball. I've done it all oh, because wow. I always wanted to have a connection with the community. And when I'm not coaching football or baseball or doing something with the kids, I'm also part of the Rotary Club, where we provide 50 to 60 gifts to underprivileged kids. And I've been the chairman of that board for 10 years. And so I'm out in the Umatilla, the Forest, Summerfield areas, delivering Christmas gifts to kids uh, during the Christmas oh, season. Man. I don't want a kid to wake up. No kid should wake up in the morning, regardless of their religion or their faith or what their beliefs are, without a gift on their tree. No, we can't nice. reach them all, oh. but we can reach the, the ones we can reach. That's what we wow. want to do. What, one of the, oh gosh, we're almost out of time. Uh, thank you for coming in here. Yes, I, I, I'm so proud that WOCA does this. The, this thank is you. an opportunity. I, I just went and looked, and you, you don't have as much money as some of your competitors. Right. So for those of you out there who want to support Dennis, uh, make sure you get in touch with him and, and help him out in any way that you can. Yes. Uh, Dennis McCutton, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll take a little break. Be right back.